G'day, G'day. here we go. How are you, Dirk? Oh, I'm good. I'm yeah? good. Yeah. Yeah. You're relaxed. Yeah. Happy. Are you actually doing the three, two, one? What do you mean? I like what you know. It's like a buddy system of three people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So do looking the, after do the two. reminder. Do the reminder. And you know, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So three. buddy system of three. Looking after two. Yeah. Making sure you're okay. Okay. Yeah. Amen. So. Welcome everyone, just greeting everyone, just really good tune in again and connect this way. So Dirk, what have you got for us today? Well, you know, I was um, seeing uh, in the papers around the world that, um, for instance, in Europe, Germany, they're starting to ease up and letting people come out. And I think we have also got a bit of more permission to come out and recreation, but we're still very confined to 50 Ks of travel. It reminded me actually when I went through East Germany after they were in their, uh, you know, you know, lockdown, if you like, for East Germany from West Germany was, was under communism and everything was locked down with walls and barbed wires and guns yes, and everything yes, else like yeah. that. And it was interesting that, you know, um, people would have to have a permit to travel from a town to town or because everything okay. was locked down. But that was for years and years. Yes. And I just wondered in terms of the fact that when we finally get the okay from the government, whether our new normal is actually going to be a little bit no longer the way that we used to live life, that there are restrictions and restraining and, you know, look at it, you know, um, in, in Germany, I think that they're allowed to come out of their houses now, but everyone's got to wear a mask. Yes, and so exactly. this will become the new normal to see people like this. Do they all have music notes on it? No, this, one was, <laughs> this is specially made from from uh, rating for me so this is you know very musical but you know this is the way we're going to see each other this is the way we're going to talk and outside and it's like strange you know so the new normal as they're saying yeah, yeah. is that it's not going to be the normal no no well one thing we've been we've been new for you new normal is you be uh, an expert bass player my fingers are hurting <laughs> yeah. you know, because Are you practicing that? I'm, I'm practicing that, yes. Yeah, yeah, so you're using lockdown to, yep. to your advantage. A new thing is springing up. Dirk the musician. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment I'm doing Wipeout. So what's the Bible verse? I, 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 forgot, I can't find it now. Which I, I thought that, you know, um, one of the important things about today and every day in this lockdown, everything else, like we talked about a new, you know, God is doing something. We hope God is doing something, yeah. but governments are doing something. Everyone's doing something. And it, this, where we're going is going to be different. So in Isaiah 43, so in the Old Testament, from verse 18 and 19, those two, uh, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. It's almost like the old normal yeah. Forget about it. That's not going yeah, to happen. Yeah, and yeah. then verse 19, what I want to say today is, Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do, uh, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Um, this is an important thing that I think um, God is going to be doing a new thing. But also governments are going to be doing a new thing. And everywhere that you, know, you see... Um, uh, when God is trying to do something new, you always have a counter to that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, have, you know with what we have now with that counter is, um, I, I read the other day that we're going to have an app on our thing. It, that it's, is going it, to, it's actually out today. It's so, out today, yeah, is it? It's out today. You, you can, you can oh. put it on your phone. So it's going to measure our social distancing and make sure that we stay 1.5 Ks uh, for, well, not one foot cases, but meters away but from each other. My phone is actually there. I'm recording on. So that. I'm hoping that this is actually, <laughs> you know, far enough away. But here's the here's the interesting thing is that now by stealth yeah. through health reasons, we're actually all being monitored as in where are you? Are you yeah, close? Yeah. Too close to someone? You know, it just that's a bit odd, isn't it? That's a bit draconian. Or where's this coming from? It. Uh, I think you know we can understand the reasoning. If it really helps to trace and and help fight the disease it's okay but we know from so many governments you know throughout history and in the world once you have these things in place they become compulsory 
and they're used by oppressive regimes. Look, consider, you know, places, you know, yeah. far north from but, us. But, you know, I'm with your verse. Yeah. God is saying he's doing a new thing. Yeah. And I think right now, um, we know it's going to be a new thing. You know, the whole world is new. I think every day something new comes. We know that with the economy, everything is, so many things will be new. But we don't quite know, and I think that was topic yesterday, we don't quite know, is it going to be good, is it going to be bad? But what I like about this verse is, you know, can't you see it yet? I'm doing a new thing. There will be streams in the wilderness. So I, I choose to believe that God is in charge of this world. He knows what he's doing. And the promise in the scriptures is his kingdom will be ever expanding. I, I like the idea that's in here because it's almost prophetic. You know, the streams of, of rivers in the wilderness um, and God is doing a new thing. That became a fulfillment when we are talking about receiving the Holy Spirit. Remember, yeah. it says that, you know, out of you will come streams of living, yeah, yeah, living yeah. waters or yeah, living yeah. rivers. Yeah. So the wilderness is like where God has planted us in the well yeah. around us. Yeah. So the world is, is our playground, but the living rivers, the water that flows, is actually coming from what God is doing. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Can't you see it yet? Yeah. He's actually doing it through the church. He's doing it through you and me. We, yeah. we are going to be that, that refreshing water in the wilderness. Yes. And like, you know, I think a lot of the things that God is doing right now is, is hidden. We don't even quite know. Like... Even with the lockdown, I, I think neighbors become more neighbors again. You know, there's more awareness of one another. You know, everyone is outside walking and you get to know new people. Who knows the, the immense positive benefits that we'll have, you know, as we come out of that. You, you just don't know. Well, another one, I don't know if we talked about it before, but the word quarantine actually means 40, you know, 40 days. You know, like Jesus was in the wilderness, 40 days. He was quarantined. Quarantine, Here we yeah. have this idea that in this wilderness, God is going to have streams of living water and that's going to refresh everything. And he's saying, it's already at work. Don't you see it? I'm yeah, already yeah. doing this. And uh, this new thing that God is doing in a quarantine, in a lockdown, in a wilderness experience yeah. of where the world is at the moment, and the wilderness is almost, you know, it's threatening. Wil wilderness is always threatening. Yeah, yeah. So now we are living in this world that is fearful that you might be too close. I've got to keep my distance from you. You know, we go to shopping centers now and there are red dots. I've got to stand here because if I take one step too close, then I'm too close to the other red dot because yeah. I've got a social distance uh, because for some reason that has become the norm. Yeah. Do you think they'll take those stickers away? Yes. They you do? Will. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I yeah. think it'll become the, you know, social distancing will become our new norm. You reckon? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess, you know, so many things we don't know. But what I like about here is that God is doing a new thing. And it's positive. It's an assurance that, yeah, there's desert, there's wasteland, whatever. But he's going to provide water for everyone. There's going to be something new springing forth. And it can be good. And so maybe what we need to do is actually take this verse and pray it. Yeah. Pray it over our churches. Yeah. Pray it over each and every one yeah. of us. Put it on to this, you know, a sticker on the fridge. Behold, I'm yeah. going to do a new thing. Yeah. And it's doing it through you, through me. You know, every one yeah. of us yeah. is going to be involved in this. And be open that it is going to be new. Like, you know, so it's not going to be life as we used to. I mean, church, I like it now. You know, I, I did like our Zoom meeting on Sunday, Holy Communion, just half, half an hour. And, you know, there was someone there for the very first time. Yeah. You know, basically, we had a visitor to church. Yeah. First time there on Zoom, you know, asked whether they could actually join. So they joined. My, my brother, you know, asked him, what, he's got, what is he going to do with church? Are they going somewhere? No, they only got streaming live streaming but there's no interaction or whatever i said look why don't you just join living grace for holy communion sunday morning he loves to do it with his whole family he's probably going to be there but he lives in adelaide but there's no more distance it's not no, no it's like on yeah. zoom it doesn't matter where yeah. you live yeah. you just join in and yeah. and you know so there'd be connection would be nice yeah. to have him and so it's just a very small thing but it, it is new isn't it in the same way that um 
you know, every day during the week, Monday through to Friday, from one to two, we do a study on Romans, or when we finish that, we'll do another study because people say, let's keep this going. And the thing is that every day, Nikki from Portland is on there, yeah. right? So again, yeah, like yeah. your brother or yeah, someone yeah. else, and distance is no longer. And, I mean, she, you know, yeah, the whole family, that, hello. I mean, they, they've been part of Living Grace for years now, yeah. but like now in, the, in, in this situation, they're not any different from anyone living down the street. Like mm. they can join in everything. Yeah. So behold, they do a new thing. Yeah. And can't you see it? Can you, can't you perceive it? It's yeah. already happening. Yeah. One of the things is that, you know, if um, God is going to do something that is actually saying, look, uh, have a couple of eyes to see it the way that I see it, what I'm doing. Yeah. And be, be can't expected. you perceive it? Yes. So perceiving is kind of like recognizing that God is actually doing something new. Yes. And, you know, like, it, you may think, oh, it's impossible, but these verses are actually talking about the impossible, the desert, yeah. the wasteland, yeah. there's nothing. Yeah. And God says, I'm making a way and there's going to be plenty of water yeah. where you don't expect any yeah. water. And so right now, you know, everything is a bit in a mess. But God says there's going to be plenty of water, it will be good. So I reckon the best thing is let God surprise you yeah. with his provision, with yes. his abundance, yes. with the where there is no way, he will make a way. Yeah, I think we can be hopeful. He's the way maker, isn't it? Yeah, way maker. <laughs> I look forward to singing that again. Ah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 it's good. Okay, that's our encouragement for today. Bless you, just have a most wonderful day. Love you and miss you. Bye now. Bye for now.